universal center for renovation, historical Israelites. Subscribe, like, and share. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. This video was made to give greater knowledge, make aware and inform the viewers on this subject matter concerning the Western Sephardic Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, origin of the American Negro and the Atlantic slave trade. And the lost tribes of Israel, origin of the native Indians of North Central, South American, and the Caribbean. Shield or Star David, Campeche, Mexico, from the book They Came Before Columbus. Campeche, Mexico, an ancient Mexican man wearing a shield of David earring. And the Israelites scattered in all nations of the world in ancient, medieval, and modern times. The oldest synagogue in the world, Dera Europis. The oldest synagogue in the world is located in Dera Europis, Syria. Wall painting of David, anointed king of Israel by the prophet Samuel, dated around the first century AD. Paintings on the wall of the Jewish synagogue, Dera Europis, Syria, 296 AD, courtesy Yale University, Dera Europis. The black presence in the lands of the Bible, Dera Europis. One day in 1920 AD, a British soldier in Syria stumbled across the lost site of a Greek fortress now called Dera Europis. Between 1920 and 1937, extensive archaeological research was conducted at Dera site, which uncovered a Hebrew synagogue, Christian chapel, and temple of Mithra, untouched since 256 AD, when it fell to the invading army of Persia. The Hebrew synagogue was particularly unusual because it contained a number of life-size paintings on its walls. These included scenes of Moses parting the sea, the return of the ark, the anointment of David, as well as images of many other biblical events. Here was a unique opportunity to witness how Jews of that time depicted themselves with their own hands. For the most part, they portrayed themselves as people of color, ranging from light complexions to black and skin color. In some cases, they had thick lips and flat noses as well. This discovery is even more significant considering that this time period, 3rd century AD, followed 
nearly 400 years of Jewish racial intermixing into Greek culture. Dera Europis Synagogue. Here was a unique opportunity to witness how Jews of that time depicted themselves with their own hands. For the most part, they portrayed themselves as people of color, ranging from light complexions to black and skin color. For more information about the Dura Europa Synagogue, you can read the book, The Black Presence in the Lands of the Bible in the book, Ancient Jewish Art, in the video, The Oldest Synagogue in the World, Dera Europis. King David. According to the Hebrew Bible, a man named David rose to be Israel's king after slaying a giant named Goliath in a battle that led to the rout of a Philistine army. King David led a series of military campaigns that made Israel a powerful kingdom centered at Jerusalem. According to the Hebrew Bible, King David anointed king of Israel by the prophet Samuel. 1 Samuel 16, 1 to 13. The physical appearance of King David. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 through 13. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and without of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. The Physical Appearance of King David 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 through 13 Biblical History But for the secular historical account, we go to Antiquities of the Jews, Book 6, Chapter 8, Josephus Now, as soon as his father had sent for David, and he was come, he appeared to be of a yellow complexion of a sharp sight and comely person in other respects also. The, the book, the complete works of Josephus, Flavius Josephus, the physical appearance of King David. We first went to the biblical historical account. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 11 through 13. But the historical, the secular historical account is from Antiquities of the Jews, book 6, chapter 8, Josephus. Now, as soon as his father had sent for David and he was come, he appeared to be of a yellow complexion, of a sharp sight, and comely person in other respects also. To complete the physical appearance of King David, to bring it to our times, modern times, in our modern vernacular, we come across the term yellow bone. 
A yellow bone is an African American or person who is light skinned and has yellow undertones in their skin color. Think musicians Drake or Chris Brown. Now, if we take the biblical account of King David and 1 Samuel, which King David is described as ruddy, and take the historical account of King David by Josephus, which describes the ruddy as yellow complexion, and you compare the Dura Europis synagogue with the musician Drake, it's a remarkable, a remarkable insight into the physical appearance of King David, which can be compared to the musician Drake. But not only the musician Drake but also the musician Chris Brown is also classified as yellow bone, which when you take into account the biblical, the secular historical account and the war painting of Deborah Europas, this is a remarkable testimony of the physical appearance of one of the greatest kings of the Israelites history. To be continued. Like, share, subscribe, and thanks.